what's up welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new my name is Christina and I post videos on motherhood and lifestyle and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Graco slim fit all-in-one car seat I'm really excited to review this product because my daughter has finally grown out of her infant car seat so I'm gonna let you guys know my thoughts on it and show you what it's all about so continue to watch to the end Okay guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Graco Slim Fit Car Seat that I got for our daughter. She actually got this a while ago from our baby registry and it's our first time being able to put her in it. So I'm just going to look it over. We're gonna put it in the car and then I'll test it out and I'll let you guys know what I think. I see that it came with the newborn insert. So since she is 12 months now, I'm going to take that out. But I think it's such a nice structured car seat. It's really like firm and soft and sleek, which I love. And she's gonna look like such a big girl. I love how it has the cup holders here. And I'll spin it around for you guys. It is just such a nice car seat. I'm really impressed with how it looks. Oh, I love how it has this rear facing Bowl must be entirely blue for you to know that it is right. So it has like a balance to know whether the car seat is in the proper direction. It also has this right here. There's just so many different options that you can do. You can make it a booster, forward facing, rear facing. I believe I'm going to look to see what is the maximum weight. So the maximum weight is 65 pounds and the maximum height is 49 inches so she is going to be in this car seat for a long time which i love that about it because she's only 20 pounds now so she has a long way to go and it's definitely going to be something that she is still facing backwards she can't face forward yet because she's still little and i just love it i really do okay guys so the main way to strap it on is down here with this strap you strap it onto the actual car. It doesn't seem too hard to do. She's supposed to be rear facing. You could actually use this car seat when they're an infant, but we had another click connect system. So we're, you know, installing it now. This is a checklist that I'm going over to make sure that everything is seated correctly. So we just have to lean it back a little in order for it to be able to be at a good angle. I'll show you guys so this is the indicator that tells me whether my seat is installed properly as you can see it's not in the middle so we actually still have to angle it i mean the instructions aren't too hard it's just a matter of being able to get this done correctly so let me just play around with it and i'll show you guys after it's completed i think we have to just angle it a little Better. but these are basically the options that you can do and they explain everything to you in the instructions I like it because you could be able your child is able to grow into it and I know she'll be using it from years to come the only thing I said I don't like is that this car seat specifically will only be for this family car that is my husband's car so I'm not able it's not gonna be easy to like transfer the car so we might have to get another car seat the other car seat we had was a click connect so we were able to just take the seat and connect it to the booster system that was attached this doesn't have that feature but it's fine because I do really like this and we'll figure out as as we go we're usually in this car most of the time anyway so I was finally able to get this rear facing bowl in the blue which means it is equally balance so basically you just strap on right here the rear facing you strap it onto a latch and you just put it in a balance so it is tilted a little and then you also tighten it to the let me show you guys you also tighten it around the head seat over here as well that's because we're using the rear facing car seat option it's reclining back and if you're doing another forward facing or booster that's like a whole nother setup 
not in this video but like i said the instructions are really easy to use and what i love most about this car seat is that it's super sleek and it's small it's not super bulky we don't have a huge car it's a small suv so i think it looks great So to loosen the actual straps to tighten the baby in, you go right here on this bottom part of the car seat and there is a little level lever in there and you push that and then you just pull on these straps right here to see how your child will fit. So I'm gonna put my baby in and see what setting will fit her best. It's pretty hot out, so I recommend not doing this on a day that it's that hot, but I didn't know it was gonna be that hot. So we're gonna test this out and put my little girl in and see how she fits in it. Okay, baby. You like your new car seat? Okay. And like I said, I made these straps a little bigger. So I'm going to buckle her in first and then we'll... You like your new car seat? No, oh, my baby's super strong. So we're gonna put this head part lower because you have to make sure that her head's in between this and we're gonna watch out baby ah! it's okay just strap her in let's see the other part okay baby and then you just pull on this okay Make sure it's not too tight on her. And that seems right. It's supposed to be right at her chest. And that's it, guys. Look how cute she is. And this is the Graco Slim Fit Review. And I just love how my daughter fits in it. Do you like your car seat, baby? I'm looking forward to having her grow in it. I think it fits perfect in our family car and it's a really good car seat. And I'll let you guys know on my Instagram stories how it winds up working out for us throughout the months. But I do think that I'm happy with getting it and putting it on my baby registry. All right guys, so overall what I would have to say about the Graco Slim Fit is that you really do get a good bang for your buck. We got it from Target on our registry as a gift, but I do believe my in-laws got it for around like under $230. Target is always having really good sales and trade-in sales if you have other car seats. But what I love most about it is that you get three different features from one car seat. It could be rear-facing, forward-facing, and a booster seat. So you can have this car seat for when your baby's first born, if they're five pounds, up until your child grows until 100 pounds. So you're really getting maximum use out of this car seat. I love how sleek it is. I love how soft it is, and I love how compact my baby looks in it while she's in the car seat for her to be able to like take naps in and just go for like long drives in so she just looks like it's really safe if, if there god forbid is ever any impact i love that it's really small so if you do have like a smaller type of car we have a small suv it doesn't take up that much space as well as you have if you have another car seat in the back seat as well so the things that I don't like about it is that you can only use it in one car. Once you strap it in and connect it to the car, it is really hard to get out again. So if you're gonna be switching it from car to car, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend either getting like another backup one just in case. But I know I used to have a Graco Click Connect system with the stroller with her other infant seat and I was able to take it the car seat out and just leave a booster into each of my husband's and mine's car and I can't do that anymore. So that is fine because like I said, I do overall like this car seat. So I hope you guys were able to get a good opinion about this car seat and if you're interested and wanna know any more questions about it, feel free to leave it in the comments. Overall, I give it a good review. Out of five, I would give it like a four. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can find out when I post my next video. I hope you guys are doing well, you're staying safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.